go. Rachel, hi. I'm Molly Myers. Right, we met once. Um, I interviewed with you to be your research assistant. Oh, no kidding. Oh. Okay. We are not going to have time for this. If you have time for the Identities Act, great. If not, so be it. That's okay. fine. Great. One minute. All right. Thank you so much for doing this, Rachel. And congratulations on the Pulitzer. Oh, it was just a finalist. Well, bravo. We're all with you. Thank you. That's very nice. So I can't say that on the air. Objectivity and all that. All right, ready? You know we're live. Todd is going to toss it to you in three, two. Thank you, Todd. Rachel Armstrong, thank you for joining us. Rachel, you've been here for seven months. How are you feeling? Well, physically, uh, I feel fine. Um, mm. I don't get the exercise that I need, but uh, I feel fine. You know, I look at you and I get this sort of, how do, how do you do it sensation, Vassar girl? Columbia journalism, um, suburban soccer mom. How Twilight Zone-ish is this for you? Well, I must say, I, when I wake up in the morning, it does take me a few seconds to realize where I am. I mean, <laughs> I haven't grown accustomed to it. You're married to the novelist, Ray Armstrong. How is the marriage holding up? Well, it obviously puts pressure. It must uh, be very hard. It is hard, but we have a, we're, we're strong. You know, he's very supportive uh, of me, and uh, we're best friends. That really helps. And what about your son, Timothy? When was the last time you saw him? It's been a long time. How long? Um, he came to see me when I was first brought here. Uh, but I've asked that he not visit me in this place. Well, that must be brutal. Most mothers, though, are going to have a hard time understanding. I guess I would have, too. But most mothers would have no idea what they would do unless they were in my position. Um, the truth is, bringing Timmy here would be selfish. You know, it would be for me. Uh, and I do wonder a lot if I can survive another day of you know, not seeing him, but I know Timmy, uh, and I saw the look in his eyes when he was brought here, and I know the damage, uh, that it would do to see his mother in this place caged up, so, you know, I, I can't do that to him. Rachel, let's get to the meat of it, because I have to try. On your story, on uncovering the identity of the CIA agent, Erica Van Doren, who was your source? Well, Molly, let me ask you, why do you have to try? Try to get a fellow journalist to betray your integrity? I know you know better than that. I, I know you do. <laughs> Before the cameras rolled, you said you were quote unquote with me so well, i have empathy like you i would never give up a source but you know what sometimes sources have motives right okay <laughs> if the information they're giving is valuable and truthful like with watergate or the pentagon papers then their motives really don't matter if any real journalist would be prepared to put up with the discomfort of jail to protect their principle now, i know you say you protect your source as if you're saying there but for the grace of god go i and <laughs> You know, you're, you're never going to have to worry about the government coming after you. Why? 